Have you ever wondered if parallel lines and proportional parts have anything in common? I know I have. Well, prepare to be answered. Yes, they do. When you have a triangle like so, forming another triangle like so with two parallel lines, each of these line segments form a proportional relationship. And that relationship is going to be AB over BC is equal to ED over DC. Now these can be switched around in any which way order, but there it is. But that's not all. Love is a two-way street. If you have two triangles and you're not sure if the lines are parallel, you can check. If AB over BC is equal to ED over DC, then you can conclude that these lines are parallel. Let's do some examples. Here we've got a couple triangles right here and right here. Notice the parallel lines. Ooh, ah. We're given that EH equals 9, HG equals 21, FL equals 6. We want to find GL. First, let's label what we know. Since EH equals 9, let's put that in right here at EH. HG equals 21. Boom, there it is. HG equals 21. FL equals 6. Right there. And we want to find GL, so why don't I just give us a variable right there for GL, since we don't know what that is. All right, since these are parallel lines, we can set up that proportion that we were talking about before. I'm gonna go ahead and do EH over HG equals FL over LG. That's gonna give us nine over 21 equals six over X. Cross multiplying, we can get nine X equals 126, or a final value of X equals 14. And since we let GL equal X, we know that GL is going to equal 14 as well. And there we've got our answer. All right, this time we're given EH equals 6, FL equals 4, FG equals 22, and we want to find HG. Let's label all our sides first. All right, notice this time they gave us an entire side, FG equal to 22. So I just made sure and labeled this entire side 22. Now before we could set up our proportion, we need to know what this side is, because we don't want this entire side, we only want the parts of each triangle. Well, we can simply do 22 minus 4, which is going to give us this LG side length of 18. Now we can set up our proportion. That's going to be 6 over X equals 4 over 18. And if we solve for X, we'll get 27, which means that our missing side, HG, is going to equal 27. We can also use proportions to determine whether these two cross lines are parallel. Here we have HN equals 5, HM equals 9, HJ equals 7.5, and JK equals 6. Let's label it all. All right, we've got another one of these long sides here, but we want the short part, so we can do 9 minus 5. That's going to give us a side length of 4. Now we can set up our proportion. Let's go ahead and do 5 over 4 is equal to 7.5 over 6. Now our main goal is to determine if NJ and MK are parallel. We've set up a proportion here based on the triangle, so if this statement is true, that means we can determine that they are parallel. If it's false, then that means they are not parallel. So let's go ahead and do 5 divided by 4. That's going to be 1.25. If we did 7.5 divided by 6, that's going to be 1.25. Five. Now, this is just one way of doing it. You could have also cross-multiplied. This is true, 100%. So that means that these lines are parallel. Again, if it was not true, if this proportion we set up was not true, these would not be parallel.